Hey y'all, it's Gary. Good to see y'all again. Well, the wind la laid low last night a little bit. It's still blowing a little bit. It's about 40 degrees now. So uh, we're back out here at the raised bed. We got this end open to open this up. That ground in there is warm. We're gonna uh, rake this up a little bit and kind of stir this ground up. I've got some lettuce. Got some cilantro. Got some carrots. Some dark red beets. And there's some radishes. These are all seeds that I had left over from last year. And uh, I thought, what the heck? Let's throw them in, the, in there and see what happens. So uh, let me set you up and we'll uh, stir up some dirt and plant some seeds, dig in the dirt a little bit. Mix in that alfalfa, them alfalfa pellets that I put in here a few weeks ago. There are two drawbacks to these cold frames. Heat and water. You gotta keep them watered. You can't let them dry out. So, you have to really keep an eye on them as far as your water. But you also gotta worry about heat. Especially in the spring, when the temperatures start warming up, you gotta really be careful because it'll cook your plants real quick. So uh, the water thing, you just gotta deal with it. But the, the heat problem, I've got something on the way. You may have seen these, you may not. They got a they got a cylinder that you mount on these doors. And uh, those doors have a piston on them and that piston has a chemical in it. And that chemical will uh, expand and retract with heat. So when it begins to get above 75 degrees in your cold frame or your greenhouse, either one, that piston will expand and it'll begin to open and the hotter it gets, the farther it opens. And you put it on this, mount it on these doors and uh, that takes care of your heat problem. That way your plants don't burn up if you can't be here to, to uh, take care of them. All right, we got that stirred up pretty good. Let's uh, let's put some seeds in there. How about we start off with the row of these ox heart carrots that I got from M.I. Gardener. I wish I had me one of those little small seed planters but I don't we're going to do it this way I'm excited about the garden this year I've been ready to get out here and get after it I know you can tell Pack that down a little bit. This is really just kind of a trial run for me because I haven't planted anything like this in a cold frame before. So we're going to find out. Let's see 
what else we can get in here. How about some radishes? Be good, it's a big old tomato. Salt shaker. company. That's what I went to high school. Now I got out of high school, I was a printer. And they hired me at this big printing company. I worked there 25 years. We used to do a, a wait ticket for a company in, I believe it was Michigan or Wisconsin, I can't remember. It's a sugar beet company. U.S. Beet. We did a big wait ticket for them. They grow these sugar beets and we we printed the tickets, wait tickets for them. Man, it must have been a huge place. But we printed a, a lot of a lot of wait tickets for them. It was like old bean scales. Weight scales. There's just a row of beets. Like I say, I'm just experimenting with this right now to see how it goes. Oh, how about some lettuce? Let's do this a little bit different on the lettuce. Let's draw some of this dirt back. I know when I open this door, it's probably a good 70 or 75 degrees under there. Let's just plant us a bed of this lettuce. That's a lot of lettuce right there. start coming up, which I don't see any reason they shouldn't. We'll put a light in here at night. Put a little old Christmas light or anything in here, just enough to create a little bit of heat. It'll, it'll make, we're, we're in the middle of January here now, so I'm pushing the envelope a little bit, I know, but see what happens. Carrots, beets, lettuce, and radishes. Let's water them in.
don't drown them. We want to give them a good soaking. There are a few onions left down here. That old buddy Fred didn't destroy. So we'll give them a little bit of drink. Help them out a little bit. There were a few in here. It's not supposed to get super cold for the next few days, so not to worry about anything freezing. That should be plenty good. All right, there we go. Well, there you got it. Got a few, few things planted. We'll plant some more in it next week, maybe. Uh, I ordered today for the main garden out here, ordered a drip irrigation for it, and I ordered one roll of, uh, I'll, spit, I'll be able to spit it out here in a minute, weed, weed control. It's, uh, it's like the tarp, it's the landscape fabric, but it's the high dollar thick stuff. And we're going to plant underneath that this year. And uh, we're going to put drip tape underneath it to irrigate with. Kind of save us some time. But uh, I'm going to try to get on the tractor here in a minute, I think. And eh, maybe not. We may have to wait till Monday for that. But that's for another day. But anyway, we got this. Got us some plants in here. Let's see what happens. Didn't cost us a whole lot. All it's gonna cost us is some time. Hope y'all enjoying these videos. I'm excited about the garden this year. I'm ready to get going. I got seeds ordered, got everything ordered, a lot of stuff coming, and and uh, hopefully we can grow some stuff. And uh, hopefully we don't have to have it. Uh, but you know, it's not. Don't hurt anything to be prepared. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm concerned about the way things are going and uh, when they start restricting speech and stuff like that and these these social platforms start picking and choosing who can say what uh, that's a bad sign and uh, I'm just telling you if I was you I'd be getting prepared I'd uh, I'd get my garden ultimately we know who's in control and what's gonna happens in his hands anyway so but uh, it don't hurt to get uh, get prepared. So I would, I'd, I'd be getting ready right now if I was you. Hey, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, all that other good stuff. Share these videos. Uh, I hope what I'm doing here will help somebody out in, uh, in the future. See you next time.